This conference will now be recorded. Okay, uh, so I uh, hope you might have created your account, right? I heard from Sahul. He signed up for Azure DevOps. Uh, if you signed up Azure DevOps, it means that you also have access to your Azure Cloud, actually, portal.azure.com. Just go and you know, try to explore the menu options. That's all you need to know. You don't need to do anything extra. After we going through these sessions, you simply go ahead and try whatever I'm saying as well. So you parallelly learn Azure Cloud Administration as well. Okay. Now, uh, before we getting into Azure DevOps uh, main actual work, right? Let's understand some of the basic concepts, right? Okay. So there is a history for the Azure DevOps. So initially, uh, this is a product suite actually product suite means a group of applications available in the same product okay it started with a vss back in 15 years ago i think more than 15 years ago visual source safe and then uh, it is renamed to tfs team foundation server and then it is renamed to vsts uh, visual studio team services and currently they are calling it as a azure devops basically okay till azure devops they were supporting i mean they means microsoft Microsoft supporting only the .NET related uh, I mean, uh, technologies. From Azure DevOps, they started uh, 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 supporting all other technologies like Java, the, I mean, uh, Python, all that stuff as well to do the CI/CD. Okay, so that's the reason it became very famous. Okay, and uh, it provides a range of services. I quickly cover all these things because we can get into the lab. Okay, uh, provides a range of services. So uh, what are those basically so you can manage the source code and uh, you can manage your requirements part of your planning and project management and uh, you can see the project management and it supports uh, both your waterfall and as well as a scrum temp scrum methodology as well hope you i mean one of you most of you working in a scrum methodology if i'm not and the automated builds and deployments testing infrastructure as a code this is as i told you we have two types of devops one is application devops what you are learning now and the other one is a infrastructure devops that is that you call it as an infrastructure as a code and release management uh, release management is nothing but end to end tracking right all the way from your project management uh, that includes your people management uh, equipments management coding build deployment and then operations all these things together you call it as a release management uh, we i am saying it is having release management because all these different different features are provided within the same azure devops platform and what else you can have so uh, you have monitoring features and you can use uh, azure devops to integrate with other uh, devops tools and uh, reporting is uh, built in here okay you, for a reporting purpose, I mean, you need a reports for your uh, CI/CD pipelines. You need a reports for your requirements. You need a reports for your uh, code, etc. So, what are those reports generally? Let us say if you take requirements, uh, generally, what a project manager or a lead or a developer or a tester would like to see. Uh, these are some examples, right? How many requirements are in progress? How many are started? Okay. How many are completed? How many bugs are there? Okay, and uh, how the team for a project manager, he would like to see uh, some kind of reports, right? Like, you know, scrub, burn down charts, etc. I mean, you will see them. I'm just giving uh, some introduction. Okay, uh, uh, oh, what is the velocity of the teams? Okay, uh, how many people are on leave? What is the available capacity? Capacity means uh, it's the number of hours uh, available for any person, right? Let us say. Uh, everybody works uh, eight hours per day right on the paper but we work more than that different matter eight hours per day and uh, for a for a week uh, your capacity is 40 hours right five into eight so likewise your project manager will calculate the capacity of the team if someone goes on leave then he has to reduce the number of hours means the capacity of the team so such kind of reports are all built in here nobody needs to do anything it's just a configuration okay and uh, as I told you, uh, I'm just it is a quick recap. Azure DevOps have the features to automate all the manual activities that you will do in uh, software development lifecycle phases. Okay, for those you have the Azure boards for requirements management, 
Azure repos for the code management, Azure pipelines for build and deployments, Azure test plans for the testers, okay, not for you, and Azure artifacts to maintain reusable components. And what's more, we have some collaboration services. What are those? You can create the dashboards, you can create the wikis. Wikis is nothing but you know maintaining the documentation about uh, uh, any given project. Okay, uh, you don't need to maintain any old documents or PPTs, etc. It's of course uh, it's up to the people. But uh, Azure DevOps is giving a option called wikis where you can create a documentation. This is similar to what you see in the Wikipedia. Okay, and uh, alerts and notifications are built in. That means uh, you don't need to configure any email servers uh, with this uh, uh, Azure DevOps platform. All are predefined. All you need to do is just go and configure your alerts and notifications. I mean, configure configuring means uh, which I mean uh, which person need to get which alert. Okay, let us say a developer need to get uh, CI/CD alerts uh, whether a pipeline is failed or successful. If it is failed, what are the bugs? Uh, 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 what happened to them? Okay. Similarly, everybody needs to get alerts and how many, uh, which requirement is in progress, which started, etc. So you just need to configure them basically. And most of them are built in. You just need to go and reuse them. That's it. And feedback management. It is about uh, feedback management is about uh, uh, feedback, right? Uh, how do you get it? It's all about again via emails. So uh, this is also built in. It is similar to your alerts and notifications, basically. So all these features, I mean, if you are not using platforms like Azure DevOps, uh, you have to use different different tools to achieve these functionalities. Since you are using Azure DevOps, everything is under one umbrella. That is Azure DevOps platform. Okay. Uh, for now, you, yeah. Artifacts, can you please tell that? Yeah. Uh, so this is for the reusable components. Let us say uh, a classic example, right? Uh, you know the Nugget? Oh, no. Uh, uh, okay. If you are a developer, uh, uh, basically when you when developers are developing any application, right? They don't write each and every uh, 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 main line code, right? Uh, not able to hear you. Not able to hear you.
Uh, hi, Puna. Not able to hear you.